Red Hat has had from day one. So I thought, okay, well, I'll prototype something. The whole thing about our community is that we work by collaborating. Um, and then after university, my car exploded. The engine just went pop completely. And I didn't have enough money to repair it. And so I said, put a blog post up on my blog and said, okay, well, I'm out of money. My car's gone bang. And I need a job really quickly for about three months before I start my next job. And Jonathan in desktop said, okay, Farnborough office, Monday morning, sit and hack. My name is Richard Hughes. I work on the desktop team in Red Hat. And I'm also doing Package Cut, which is a whole new package abstraction framework. Package Cut basically puts a layer of glue uh, into, the, uh, into the system so that you can hide the underlying details. So you can have the same GUI tools running on Ubuntu as you have on Fedora and, for instance, RHEL. One of the coolest things you can do with Package Kit is provide the user with a better session experience. If someone sends you a file, so an SVG file, which you can't open, you can say, OK, well, I can't open this file now, but here's a list of software that can. Click any one of these pieces of software, click the Run button, and you can, you can run it. Um, so it lets you, lets you solve some quite interesting desktop use cases. I was sort of simmering on the idea for about two years, and I thought, well, I think I could do this. But politically, it's a disaster, because traditionally, distributions are their packaging tool. And something like Red Hat, it's OK, well, we've got our own tool. They're localised in sort of a Red Hat-ish way. So it's a very, very political problem. But we can put this layer of glue on top that lets us do all this cool functionality. And so I thought, OK, well, I'll prototype something. But right before I actually do anything in code, I'm going to say to the community, this is what I'm doing. These are the problems I'm trying to solve. This is why I'm doing it. A lot of the times what happens is the Supreme Savings, the SUSE guys, come in and they say, we've got a new back end. This is it. How can we help? And so, for instance, by them contributing a backend, they find other bugs in the UI. So they're fixing the UI, which we're then benefiting from. Instead of it being them and us, it's now one giant community. We're all sort of pushing together with common tools. Package Kit, when it first started, has a, a concept of uh, incomplete backends. So slowly you start to see all the backends sort of have a common set of features. And so, ho hopefully, long term, it can be a case of you switch from Ubuntu to Fedora or from, say, say from Suze to RHEL. It just wouldn't matter because all the tools are the same, the experience is the same. It's just the underlying libraries that you're using are different. I feel really guilty because we're <laughs> working at Red Hat is like being paid to enjoy yourself. Most of the guys work in the States, so I sort of work from about 8 in the morning and then have lots of hacking time until about midday and then all the US come on board and then I just have to start off answering questions and fixing bugs and stuff. So I have a whole morning of hacking. Yeah, the car's fixed. Um, that 2,000 pounds sort of landed on my feet a bit. Thank <laughs> you.